got all my supplies ready. Well, I have stabilizer and thread still, but this is the top um, portion of the front, the lining and the outside. As you can see, I turned over, I turned over more than a half an inch here and a little less here maybe, but um, the important thing that this is the correct size as stated in the instructions. This is the six by six by 10 pattern I'm doing, and this is um, 2.1 inches. And that's important. So get it really close to that. This is the bottom front um, for the outside and the lining. Only the top is folded um, under on these pieces. And the size is not quite as important on there because this is gonna go off the edge. It could be a little large and that's totally fine. Um, then we have the pocket inside. And this is one really large piece of fabric. It's folded in half and pressed. Press all your fabric, please. It just turns out better. I have a couple of zippers. I have my ribbon for the tab. And then over here, I have my back. I just pressed it, there's no turning under. And I have my back lining. It's just pressed and no turning under as well. The first color is going to stitch out six lines. You're gonna place each zipper on three lines. What you're gonna do is make sure the middle line is at the same space as the zipper teeth. Above it, you can see there is one line and below it there's one line. They kind of line up with the edge of the zipper tape. We're gonna lay this one down and tape it in place and we'll lay the other one down and tape it in place as well. Now, please do keep in mind, even plastic zippers have metal pieces. I am taping this tab way off the edge for now. I'll move it later. And also down here, there's another metal edge and that I'm keeping well away from my project as well. Remember, the zippers that um, have metal in it are not to be used, but even plastic zippers keep those metal pieces away from where you're stitching. You can really ruin your machine. Both zippers are taped in place and we're ready to go back to the machine. Here you can see, you can see it better on the yellow than the pink, um, that the zipper is now tacked into place. I have a Husqvarna Viking um, 20. I think that's what it is, a 20. And it does not cut the jump stitches here and here. So hopefully your machine does cut. I love my machine, but I wish it did do auto clips. Anyhow, we are next going to put it back into the machine, the hoop, and we will see the placement stitches for the top and bottom portion of the bag stitched now. We have both the upper section and the lower section of the front of the bag placement stitches. Now we're going to take the front top and we're going to put it right over the placement lines, kind of lining up with the placement line also, or the tack down also of the zipper. And I'm gonna even this out a little better. But make sure if you have a fabric that has an up and a down, you have this in the correct direction as well. And we're gonna bring this back to the machine and we're gonna tack down the top portion of the outside of our bag. Here we have the top portion of the bag tacked down. What I did fail to mention to you, um, as you recall, you did fold over both edges of these fabrics and this is pretty side up of course and the folded edges are not showing because they're underneath the fabric. We're going to place our bottom portion next and when we do that the folded edge here is going to go upward on the zipper and the not on the zipper but on the placement line near the zipper. You can see it here and we're gonna line all this up nicely. All the ed other edges should be going off the edges of the placement line. So you're gonna have excess going along each of the other edges. But it's important that this folded under edge is at the top of the placement line, just over the top of it a little bit. And we're gonna put that back on the machine and do the tack down for the front bottom. All right, we have tacked down the bottom front. I am using a single 
um, running stitch for the tack down on the top and the bottom because when we put the lining in, it's going to go around there again and restitch it so it'll be nice and secure. The next step would be to um, put the words on. Dirty masks go on the top portion uh, and clean masks on the bottom portion. I am skipping that step and just making this into a cute little fun bag. This fabric is way too busy to, to do that. So next we will be doing a placement line for the um, little tab at the edge. And the tab, you can add a little fob to it. You can add some sort of decorative touch or you can skip it if you don't want it. But I'm gonna return this to the machine and I'll be back in a second. Rather hard to see my um, placement line for the ribbon. It's right underneath here, but I use the same color. I'm keeping the same color in the whole time as you can do. Um, but now I tap, uh, tape the ribbon down and the loop portion is inside the bag, the raw edges to the outside. We'll bring that back to the machine and we'll tack that down. Here is the tack down for the ribbon. Now we're going to um, at this point, you'll be making sure to take your hoop carefully out of your machine. And we're going to go to the back side of our project. Now, we're going to place this piece of material. This is the top front lining. We're going to place it in the same manner as we did the front of the lining. And it's going to be positioned somewhat like this. I'm going to make it a little more perfect. Um, it's a, you're, Follow those zipper lines, one, two, three, and follow the tack down of the zipper, follow the tack down of that last piece of fabric. You can kind of flip back and forth and check your work and tape it in place because this needs to stay here as we bring it back to the machine. Our top portion of the front lining of the bag is now in place, and now we are going to do the bottom portion of the front lining. Again, you're gonna to wanna to line that up with the same placement line as you did for the front. Again, this hemmed portion needs to be at the top. Not hemmed, I'm sorry, but turned under. Um, more or less making a hem as we stitch it. And these sides all need to go beyond the placement sides. So let's put this down and tape it in place and we're gonna bring this back to the machine and tack down the inside of the lining for the bottom front. All right, we have that tacked down. Um, next, I am going to turn this over a minute and give you a look at something just for perspective. So, this next step we're still doing on the back side of the project, but I want you to see something. Um, I say to line it up with the upper portion of the lower zipper tacked down. So this is the lower zipper, and this is the upper portion. We're putting the pocket on next. And the pocket is going to stitch the top of the pocket right on this same line above the zipper. So in order to do that, we need to be able to um, know where this line is. So you might want to stick a pin through there or something so that you can see it on the back side. Okay, here I have placed the fold. Remember, this is our pocket. So this is our piece that's folded completely in half. And the fold goes right above the upper portion of the lower zip zipper and that tack down line and that's there and so it's just a smidge above it each other raw edge is going to go off the edge of the placement line and now I'm going to tape all this in place and return it to me. there our pocket is in place and I cannot believe that I forgot to tell you guys to move that zipper to the center I go ahead and I move both the zippers to the center um, at the same time, but move that zipper to the center before you stitch that pocket in place um, Because it will stitch around the edges here and make it impossible to move your zipper if you do forget you can tear out some stitches and Then you can uh, go back and restitch the um, Move the zipper then go ahead and restitch it. Ask me how I know next what we're going to do is this piece right here I want to be the back of my purse. So I'm going to put it pretty side down on top of the entire project and we're going to make sure that stays in place and go back to the machine and stitch that down. Here we have the back 
tacked down. There is no turn hole because this will be turned through the zipper, but it's completely tacked on all the way around. And then we're gonna work on the back lining and that will go on the underside of the hoop. Now we're gonna lay our fabric down, pretty side touching pretty side, so pretty side down. And we're gonna cover all the lines and I'm gonna tape this in place, make it perfect, and I'm gonna bring it back to the machine. It is gonna stitch from here all the way around here and it's gonna leave a turn hole. This turn hole is on the inside and the lining. And so let me tack or tape it all down and bring it back to the machine. If you look carefully, you can see it starts here, goes all around here. This is the lining being tacked in, and it stops here. So I have this portion here that is unstitched that I'll need to either hand stitch or use hemming tape on. This is the last stitch of the project. Now I'm going to remove all of the tape and I'm gonna tear away the stabilizer and I'm going to trim all around the edges, leaving a little bit of extra fabric here and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I trimmed all around the edges. I left a lot extra here. Um, and here I'm gonna actually trim more away. It's larger than I need it to be, but I wanted to exaggerate it for the picture and for the video. These are the two layers that are gonna eventually need to be um, close together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to flip this right side out and then I'll be back. I'm gonna flip it through the turn hole. Flipped it through the hole. And the next thing I'm gonna to need to do is to tuck these in and close the turn hole. I'm gonna do that by hand. You can do that with a fusible hemming tape as well. And then I'll also remove all the stabilizer from this top zipper. Then I'll come back I to I stitched you. this up on the bottom. It's a little whip stitch. No one's gonna see it. Um, so it shows a little, but that's okay. And I did it in pink so you could see where it was. Um, and then I removed the stabilizer from there. I'm gonna work my hand inside of this bag and unzip it the rest of the way and flip it right side out and be right back with you to show you what we get. Here we have it flipped right side out. The next thing I'm going to need to do is to open this zipper fully and pull out this stabilizer inside of here. We have our first portion of the bag goes all the way down to the bottom and then here we have the second. It's fully lined, two zippers. All I have left to do is a little bit of embellishment. 